You're now witnessing the Quintessence Coalition. Presented by Afternoon Tea in part with the Todd Donald Show and the Listeners Group. The Quintessence Coalition is immersive experiences and conscious collaborations. Sights, sounds, and spirits. The Quintessence Coalition. It's the reimagining of next level art and music presentation with a twist through inspired expression across several mediums. It combines music and art designed, produced, and curated by several artisans and talents to provide an interactive experience for a diverse audience, generating space for innovative curiosity. Sights, sounds, and spirits. Sights, live art, performance art, and dance. Sounds, music, spoken word, slam poetry, and DJ producer sets. Spirits, energy work, divination, and food and beverage. Check this out. There's always more sights, sounds, and spirits to enjoy than you're already aware of. Get ready for more of that when we come back.
Thanks for tuning in, dear viewer. In the last year or two of writing the songs and recording the album, it's been really about whether or not I can find the courage to express what I feel artistically through these songs and not be worried about whether it's good or credible or it's going to set the world on fire, but really just do it for my own satisfaction in terms of expressing myself and what I feel. And But now that I'm actually releasing the album, I'm being reminded of, oh, it's such a, it's such a beautiful way to revisit connections from the past and to make new ones. And you and I coming together to do this podcast is just a perfect example. You know, I put myself out there this past week announcing that the album's coming. I just see that you pop up on Instagram because you like to post. And I'm like, oh yeah, Todd Donald, I should see whether he's still doing interviews and ask him. And then, you know, in a matter of minutes, we're putting it together. So that's a big thing for me is the opportunity to make the world seem interesting and adventurous and inviting and form connections with people because the world is a much more inviting place when you have lots and lots of examples of good people, the world around. And if you're just, you know, the opposite, if you live in your own head and you, you know, you're troubled by things and you don't have strong connections with others, you can feel very, you feel like the world is an uninviting place. So yeah, that's a big part of it. Human connection is, I can't sing its praises enough. I mean, it really is the reason the main motivator and the most enjoyable part of doing this podcast. 110%. Us both being musicians, I think there's something really special about connecting over something that you make, like an album exists on a very different plane, I guess, than a podcast. A podcast is ongoing, but an album is yeah. plays a role in time stamping things and being timeless. That's so true. speaking of your beautiful music, and I'm not, I shower my guests with a lot of praises. It's because I genuinely have them. Like, I really feel about this way about your new music. You sent me some in advance. The Great Unknown. Jeff, yeah. it's, uh, we're going to talk about that more later, but can I just tell you how great it is? You can't. You know what? You can, absolutely can, because I feel that I know you well enough from the past. I already know that you're a genuine person. So for me, it doesn't come across as, as false or empty praise. It comes across as somebody who's passionate about music, who's been open-minded about listening to my music and is responding to it. And again, I, it, it opens up a larger conversation, but I'll just say for the moment, it took me eight years to become able to just try writing songs from the heart and face the fear of putting them out there. And I had to get to the point where I set aside any thoughts about what will other people think. Right. And just know that it feels good to express what I feel. So now that I'm, I have the experience to any extent of somebody genuinely connecting with the music, I can't really tell you what that means because I just think about these last eight years and some of it's been painful, very painful at times. To hear you say that, it just makes, the, it starts to like make the pain fade away. I mean, it sounds dramatic, but it happens to be true. Fight the 
Thanks for tuning in, dear viewer. Check this out.
Hold those thoughts while we take a quick break. Check this out. Kwe Kakina, Kevin Lamar, Indigenous Cause, Pickwakanagan, and Dunjaba. Hello everyone, my name is Kevin Lamar. I reside in Pickwakanagan. I am a member of the Algonquins of Pickwakanagan First Nation, located in the Ottawa Valley. I have been singing traditional music for over 20 years and have performed on many platforms educating on Indigenous culture and music. I have traveled to many powwows from Eastern to Central Canada. This song is a straight song that I composed and I hope you enjoy this rendition with the Bel Canto Strings Academy. Any artist and or appreciator should never feel alone and never is alone. Thank you for appreciating the Quintessence Coalition. <laughs> 